Right, so we spoke about shafts and grips earlier. Now we're going to chat about custom fitting and why custom fitting is so important. Here at Golf House, we are the largest custom, uh, custom fitters in the Middle East with brands as Callaway, Cobra, Strixon, Mizuno. We've just been able to get the Nike as well, so we are able to custom fit Nike, we custom fit TaylorMade, and soon we'll be able to do Ping and Titus as well. So for you as a golfer to come down to Golf House, you'll be able to be custom fitted in any brand that's out on the market. So Jason, custom fitting. Uh, there's a lot to custom fitting, uh, why it's important, uh, what you do, uh, why, why do we do custom fitting and not just go into a shop and buy something off the shelf? Because surely all the product's good, right? Yeah, absolutely. The product is good, but uh, like I said before, each and every person has a unique and individual swing. The way a player presents the golf club at impact is very important to how, obviously, what will happen with the ball. So when we look at custom fitting, we're going to be looking at so many different areas and the variety of different things that we look at can have a bearing on how a player can get the club back to the ball very consistently. So the most important things about custom fitting are trying to get the player into the right sort of category of head for himself, mm -hmm. a forgiving head, uh, or a probably a less forgiving head for a guy that's striking out of the center a lot more. And then from there we work a lot with shafts. As I said to you in the shaft video, shafts have a massive bearing on what the player will do with the club through impact. In other words, how, how uh, the club will be traveling on the down or, or vertically, um, as well as what it does uh, from a path perspective. I've seen massive changes from that. So I've seen huge changes in ball striking from players that have never thought custom fitting was important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll take you for an example. Scotty was using heavy shafts his whole life. Um, and then we had a look at him and all of a sudden uh, got him into some light, lighter shafts, lighter steel shafts. Uh, and to be honest, over the last couple of years, he said his, his iron play has been the best that he's ever had because of the right, right sort of weight shaft that he's been playing. And I've seen a massive, massive change in players all the way through. In fact, I had a, a guy the other day who actually came to me and said, I didn't think that I was a, a good enough golfer to be custom fit. I hear that all the time. Uh, guys probably about a 16 handicap, 18 handicap, not consistent, really working hard on his swing. And all of a sudden he went from, he was light shafts and went into slightly heavier shafts with something that suited him. His path changed and the ball strike all of a sudden changed dramatically. And he, could, he came out afterwards and he said, I actually can't believe it. He says, I'm embarrassed to have thought that that's what I felt before. And I said, look, it's nothing to do with me because that's ultimately the physics of what's happening. We get you in the right equipment. And all of a sudden his distance improved by up to about 16 yards because we actually got him in the right equipment. And also he narrowed down his dispersion as well as his distance control change dramatically. So I've seen players make huge changes. I'm not saying that I'll absolutely cure you and make you uh, a scratch golf in yeah. 10 weeks. Yeah. It's not that easy. But definitely I've seen improvements from golfers over a period of time from getting the right equipment in their hands. And I've seen the opposite. Having the wrong equipment in your hands, making the game much harder for yourselves. Okay. So there's, there's a variety of things. And as I said, to you, custom fitting has such a broad spectrum yeah. from if you look at drivers from a distance perspective, there's major categories that we look at. We look at the ball flight, we look at the, how fast the ball's coming off the face, and we look at how fast uh, the club is traveling. You can optimize every area. So that's the key thing about custom fitting, is optimizing the areas that you can, and then getting you into the right stuff. And how do we do that? Obviously, that's with the right shaft, with the right head, um, and the right combinations for that individual swing. Okay, so regardless of a player's handicap, um, you can fit the head, the shaft, the grip, and make that player a better golfer. Striking the ball a bit more out the middle, uh, getting a better flight, and ultimately all golfers want more distance. So am I, am I correct in saying that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's sometimes when a guy comes to me and he really has got good equipment, either by way of the fact that he has been custom fitted or he's just got lucky by picking something off the shelf that suited him. Um, I'll be honest, there's times where you look at a player and, and you see straight away that he's going to get massive benefits and then there's times where you see a guy, well, he's, he's not going to get as much benefit, but then we'd be fine tuning. Okay. So majority of the time there's, there's, there, there is an improvement to be had if you're getting the right equipment in your hands. Yeah. I mean, it's not always the case. I've had guys where sometimes you look at it and you think that has to work and then all of a sudden he comes back and he says, I'm struggling with that and we make a little bit of a change and then that improves it. So okay. there, there, there's a lot to it. It's, it's, in my opinion, there's a lot of absolutes uh, in fitting, but then there's 
also uh, an aspect of it where you know it's not absolutely scientific so we, we have that side of things and that's where we where I, I often say to people that come and see me listen this isn't just a one day thing you come and see me you get your clubs and then that's it done and then you go away yeah, yeah. no we work on it over a period of time I've been working with some guys over a large period of time with their clubs and fine-tuning and tweaking maybe a little bit of weight here once we've got the right clubs for them so it's, it's yeah. a huge uh, thing and, if, and if players are, are having lessons and they're changing their swing should they be checking on their custom fitting uh, more often or would you say rather come back to me after your swing change to get custom fit again? Sometimes. It's a process. It's a process. Sometimes I, I, I'm based at the Montgomery. I work quite closely with the guys here who are the yeah. pros. I will always ask them specifically what they're working on with the player uh, if I know that the guy's going to lessons with him, uh, i.e. in posture or their swing. So I'll go to them and say, listen, this is my recommendation. What do you think? Do you think it'll be helping or hurting your process? If it's hurting your process, then we'll relook at uh, what we're doing. Okay. But oftentimes I'll say to a guy, when they need a swing change, I'll say to them, look, let's do it afterwards or let's go ahead and actually do the changes because the changes that you're making aren't going to have a bearing on your swing change. So let, for example, let's take one where uh, if a guy's changing his posture, then I'm going to need the input of a coach. Okay. Um, or uh, the guy the guy has his posture and they're making a little swing change. That's where a shaft or something can really help the swing change. So okay. it's, it's again, it's not absolute, but there's times where I work with the guys and then we'll see from there. All right, great. So if you're looking to improve your game, we've got shaft offerings, grip offerings, and custom, best custom fitters in the Middle East. So with eight brands to be able to custom fit you, pop down to our three centers and we'll sort you out.